Hello gentlemen, we've talked about units of measurement, uncertainty in measurements, and now today we're going to talk about techniques you can use to ensure that um, your measurements always have the proper units when using them in calculations. So our lesson today is entitled Dimensional Analysis. This is section 1.6. Dimensional analysis is a system used, that, used to solve problems. Using dimensional analysis ensures that solutions to problems always have the proper units and are free from errors. Now, in dimensional analysis, units are multiplied, they're divided into each other, or they are canceled. Sometimes all of the above. In dimensional analysis, we use conversion factors as the major tools for unit conversion. Now, a conversion factor is a fraction whose numerator and denominator are the same quantity expressed in different units. For example, 12 inches in the numerator, one foot in the denominator. They mean the same thing, but they have different units. The same quantity, but different units. I could also write it this way, one foot per 12 inches. They mean the same thing, you can flip it either way. Another example is, there are 2.54 centimeters per one inch. So every one inch has 2.54 centimeters. Or you could say one inch has 2.54 centimeters and write it this way. Now, let's do an example problem with this, where this can become handy. So let's say we have a sample problem like the one above. It says, how many centimeters are in an object that is 10.54 inches long? So there is a plan that we can abide by, or some not really rules, but just a plan that we can make for ourselves to make this process go smoothly. The first thing is write what's given, or, you know, find what is given in the problem. What's given to us is that this object is 10.54 inches long. So that's what's given. The second thing we do is multiply by a conversion factor that relates what units you're given and what units you are trying to get to. So we're given units of inches. We're trying to get to units of centimeters. We saw on the last board that there is a conversion factor that relates to those two. It's 2.54 centimeters per one inch, or you can also write it in this way here. The third step is to take what you're given and the appropriate units. Multiply it times a conversion factor and organize it so that the given units are the same. And across from each other, well, the given units from your conversion factor in the denominator, and they're cross canceling here. And the, the desired units are in the numerator here, giving you your resultant desired units. If you didn't understand that, let's put some numbers to it to make it more relevant. So we start with what's given to us 10.54 inches. <clears throat> we multiply times a conversion factor that relates inches to what we're trying to get to, centimeters. That's given to us. Now we put inches here in the denominator so that it cross cancels with the inches here, leaving you with your units that you're desiring, which are centimeters. And in this case, you simply multiply across. This is understood as kind of 10.54 inches over one, just like any uh, whole number, just like any number, excuse me. So we have 10.54 <clears throat> times 2.54 centimeters. Inches have canceled leaving us with 26.7716 centimeters. Now we have to remember that conversion factors are exact numbers. If we remember, exact numbers have an infinite number of significant figures, meaning they will not affect your final answer significant figures. What will affect it is what's given in the problem. So 10.54 has four significant figures, so my final answer must have four significant figures and the units must be included. It's an example of how we're doing dimensional analysis. This is dimensional analysis. Another example. And we'll go through this one together. So say I have a question that says, how many inches are in 15.00, a 15.00 meter pole, excuse me. First, what's given to me, we have to locate that, is that the pole is 15.00 meters long. Now we have to think of, <clears throat> we have to think, is there a conversion factor that relates meters to inches? 
Well, maybe there isn't one that is direct. You know, how many meters per inch or how many inches per meter? That might be a hard one to come up with. But we can do it in steps. We can have a sequence of conversion factors. So we can say, well, we have meters. I know that meters and centimeters are related in that there are 100 centimeters in a meter, a meter stick. And centimeters and inches are related in that there are 2.54 centimeters per one inch. You might have to do steps. So sometimes in dimensional analysis, there are a series of steps in order to get to your final answer. It may not just be one step. So we start with what's given to us, 15.00 meters. We multiply times some conversion factor that's going to relate meters to what we want to get to. We want to get to centimeters first, and then we'll go to inches. So what relates meters and centimeters is that there are 100 centimeters per one meter. Remember, you can also flip this. In one meter, there are 100 centimeters. It depends on what's given here. So here our given unit is meters. So we want to have our other given unit down here, meters our desired units up here on top centimeters. So for every one meter, there are 100 centimeters. Our meters cross cancel, because they're being divided by one another, and we have 15.00 times 100 centimeters giving you 1,500 centimeters. Now to keep my significant figures intact, this is a conversion factor, it's an exact number, Thus, it has an infinite amount of significant figures, so this will determine my, my number of significant figures. I have 15.00, so this will have 1, 2, 3, 4 significant figures. I put a decimal place here just to represent that these zeros are significant. Without the, this decimal, they will be seen as insignificant, or just not significant numbers. Now that we have this number, we carry on. We have centimeters, we want to get to inches. So we use this conversion factor that relates them. We have 1,500 point centimeters times something. So we have to put our desired units down here. Sorry, our given units down here, excuse me, and our desired units at the top. Now, that means we got, we're going to have to flip this conversion factor so that for every one inch, we have 2.54 centimeters. Our centimeters will cross cancel and we have 1,500 point times 1 inch divided by 2.54. When we do this, we get 590.5512 inches. That's the whole number written out. Now we have to <clears throat> look at our significant figures. This, again, is an exact number, has an infinite amount of significant figures. So we have to look at this, which came from this. So we have four significant figures to begin with, so we have to end with four significant figures. Thus, our final answer is, and I'll write it right here, 590.5512. Inches. One, two, three, four. Now, here's a take home problem for you. So, after you've written these notes, try this problem out. What is the mass in kilograms of 25.0 cubic centimeters of aluminum, which has a density of 2.70 grams per cubic centimeter? There are 1,000 grams per one kilogram. Good luck, gentlemen. Take notes.